Hello everyone. Welcome to Huawei Firewall Multimedia Configuration Course. In this course, you will learn how to allow users to access only a certain level 2 website of a main website. Usually, a main website contains multiple level 2 websites. Take Google as an example. www.google.com is a main website and news.google.com and images.google.com are its level 2 websites. If you configure only www.google.com, you cannot perform differentiated control over access to its multiple level 2 websites. However, if you add the URLs of these level 2 websites to the blacklist, hotel list, or user-defined categories one by one, you may leave out certain websites unintentionally. In addition, this process is quite demanding. Now let's use a specific example to describe how to allow users to access only a specific level 2 website of a main website. www.example1.com is a comprehensive portal website that has 10 level 2 websites, such as news.example1.com, sports.example1.com, games.example1.com, and library.example1.com. An enterprise attempts to allow users to access only library.example1.com and its sub-websites, but not any other level 2 websites of www.example1.com. You can configure URL and host rules for URL filtering. The matching scope of a URL rule is the entire URL, whereas that of a host rule is only the domain name. As shown in the following figure, this string is the entire URL, and this part is the domain name. Usually, the domain name is simple. The URL, however, is much more complicated. The parameter part, in particular, is usually quite long. In this example, it is obvious that configuring a host rule is more appropriate. This is because after you allow or block access to a domain name, Access to all URLs corresponding to this domain name is controlled accordingly. Now, let's see this specific configuration method. First, create a URL filtering profile. Choose Object, Security Profiles, URL Filtering. Click Add. Set the name to URL Profile 01. Add library.example1.com to the host hotel list. Add asterisk example1.com to the host blacklist. Asterisk indicates a wild card. The hotel list has a higher priority than the blacklist. Therefore, users can access library.example1.com and its sub-websites, but not any other level 2 websites of www.example1.com. Click OK. You can see the newly created profile URL profile 01 in the list. However, you have not finished the configuration yet. Instead, you have to apply the profile in the security policy for the URL filtering function to take effect. Choose Policy, Security Policy, Security Policy. Click Add and then Add Security Policy. Name the policy to Policy 1. Enter the filtering conditions. For example, Set the source security zone to trust, the destination security zone to untrust, the source address to 192.168.0.0, and the mask to 24-bit. You must set the action to permit. Select URL profile 01 in the drop-down list of URL filtering, and click OK. Till now. You have completed the configuration and application of the URL filtering function. At last, click commit on the upper right corner to activate the configuration. After the preceding configurations, users can access library.example1.com and its sub-websites but not any other level 2 websites of www.example1.com. If users access such websites, you can choose monitor log, URL log, and view corresponding logs that display the filtering type as hotel list or blacklist. If a large number of URL logs exist, you can use advanced search to filter them. Click advanced search on the upper right corner. 
set the filtering type to whitelist or blacklist, and click search. We've completed the course. Thank you for staying with us.